What's happening here? There you are. The Witcher's on board. We can go. Let's get to work, my bearded friends. Open the shaft, Skags. If you kill off those monsters, the whole of Vergam will be grateful. I'm sure some coin would be found. We'll keep that in mind, Session. So, Sheldon, you opened the shaft yet? Keep your pricks in your trousers. You can't just plow forward all the time. A mine is like a lover. You need to be gentle, so she accepts you moist and hot. Oh, okay. Your music, Sheldon. Well, in this case, mine is like a lover who needs to get bashed into. And <laughs> you just open the door. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah. Let's not do any more analogies, please. Why is it so dark here? It's really dark in here. Sur surprisingly, super dark. Is that blood? Oh, don't tell me I have to use the uh, cat potion. I don't like the color scheme that much. I mean, I like it, but it gets a little bit annoying. I'm gonna get my sword ready. Poor son of a bitch. You almost got away. Who? I don't see anyone. Oh, this guy. Harpy claw. What? You wet your wet harpies. recently, Wetcher. Ooh, weapons. I don't really need those. I think I have uh, some. They will. Oh, hi. What's up? I'm too old for this. What are these things? Damn carrier. That was close. What was that? Yeah, man. Pages. With this many appearing, they must have a nest nearby. What the hell is Come a necrophage? On. Show yourselves! I'll let you taste my axe! Ooh, uh, okay. Even oh, then, they it's drop stuff. Less than you. I'm gonna collect their thingies because I have never seen these before. Might be used for something useful later. Uh, and I still can't see anything though. So these guys explode. I gotta watch out for them when they are about to die. And they do explode quite violently. Balance first map. There's a balance in here. Oh my god. How many references from Lord of the Rings are you gonna guys going to borrow? Alright, so I have to collapse this thingy somehow. It's one of my uh, subquests. Uh, how do I do that? Also, let's check out what that balling thing is. Oh, this is the key that I know I have to use on one of the doors here. And the journal. Oh, okay, so it's a map of this uh, particular mine as well and first fragment work is going as planned it seems our yield will be even greater than anticipated moreover i believe we can squeeze much more from this mine we'll delve deeper bring up more wealth and vergen will regain its past significance so yeah this is a very similar story to um the misty mines from lord of the rings uh where i think it was was it the bowing i don't even remember anymore it was um one of the dwarves got too greedy and, and uh, dug too deep and then they opened up uh, Barlog's lair. So I really hope there's no Barlog in this game because I don't think I can handle that right now. I'm having trouble with these necrophages. Luckily I can light up these uh, lamps here to see a little bit better because it's really pitch dark in here. Alright, I found the second journal, uh, and it says... This morning we discovered small slits in the tunnel walls. The cracks don't seem to be dangerous, but I ordered additional wooden supports placed just to be sure. Rodel Rudolf Ferdinand is spluttering. I think he does not enjoy the temperature at his death. Uh, old Nain Zemmernhof claims to hear knocking. I bet he has finally flipped for good. I think we're getting close to a large load, and I've, uh, I've sent for a geologist. Alright, so let's continue. I'm getting closer to my target now. Alright, found the third journal. Monsters, monsters everywhere. The legends were true. It's Durin's Bane. Too deep would delved. Would delved and awoke a nameless fear. This is all my fault, so I must try to stop the beasts myself. Fly, you fools. Alright, I have a feeling these guys will 
I uh, might get sued by uh, the Tolkien family for this. And I also have the fourth journal right here somewhere. And the four, final fragment. I, Balan Ferguson, record these words in the event I should, I should die, for I wish to be recognized by my name. It is fourth day since I hid in this branch of the shaft, separated from the monsters by traps. I am safe, but how long will I survive without water? I have the key to the storeroom, and I can think of nothing else than to sneak there quietly to get provisions. Reasons, however, tells me that the storeroom is too far, and I won't be able to make it. The monsters are trying to reach me again, so I have to wait anyway. Later, when I'm desperate. Who knows? And he actually died in that same room where he trapped himself. Oh, something magical is going to happen. What is it? I'm about to reach the end of this uh, tunnel thing. Maybe that's the um, thing I came here for. The flower. Or the herb, whatever it is. Mushroom. I don't want anybody okay. playing hero. What the hell is that thing? Oh my god, they kind of even stole the Balrog's uh, looks there. Okay, I'm running away from this. I'm gonna take care of the small guys first. Go away, go away, go away. Okay, big guys down. Uh, what do you give me? Necrophage eyes. That's it? No. What the hell is the bulwar? I guess that's the bulwar. Oh no, I got nothing, nothing really useful. Uh, so I guess I'm collecting this. That's the immortal. Oh, I can collect a lot of it. I'm gonna collect everything. So I don't have to ever come back here again. I wouldn't mind a drink about that. You're a dwarf, of course you wouldn't mind a drink. He has a lot of dwarves collected right here, in a pile. I wonder if he was eating them. I think this is the last tunnel I have to collapse for this quest. Let's see if this is... Yay! Mission complete. Get your reward from Cecil. Cecil, where are you? You're here somewhere. Which one are you? Belly full, axe sharpened, and liquor awaits. Ready I guess I have to go outside first. Right, get out. Looks like it's all over. Oh, Thanks yeah, it's over. Sultan. Say nothing of it. Enough yapping. Time for some vodka. First, I want to see if my fuck date's still waiting. Just oh, don't no. strain yourself. It takes energy to drink with us too, you. Oh my god, dwarfs. Alright, now where's Cecil? He owes me some money. Huh? He's not here. I guess he's in a tavern? We killed most of the necrophages. Most? The passage to the lower level collapsed. They won't get out. In time, they'll die off and you can restart work. Thank you, Witcher. The whole of Vergen thanks you. Here's your coin. Shive, Skags, and Zigrim will get the same. Excellent. Oh, right. So that's done. Now, off to the next quest. So we have our uh, magical plant, whatever thing. And I believe the next item was either the Remembrance Rose or... What was the other thing? I forgot. Let's go find out. Alright, for my next quest... Someone is doing something in there. Interesting. What? That's nice. What is it, Witcher? Who was that girl? Cynthia, a leashed sorceress. Oh, maybe she poisoned her expression. Do you also use muzzles? Leash means a connection between a sorceress and her assistant. An unfortunate term, I admit, but it explains how things are. Cynthia can tap my power, use my spells. She's a conduit. And she's learning along the way. 
It's convenient and, except for the name, not derisive at all. But you're not here to talk about Cynthia. Oh, right, I have a lot of questions for you. Uh, How is it here. that King Radovid's court sorceress and advisor is supporting rebellion in Edirn? This has grown into more than a simple rebellion, Witcher. Prince Stennis's arrival here confirmed Saskia's right to represent Edirn. Saskia isn't fighting for Edirn, but for the Pontar Valley. Even Prince Stennis considers you rebels. He hasn't moved against you because war with Kedwin hangs by a thread. Why are you here, Sorceress of Tretagor? It is my duty. If Henselt occupies the Pontar Valley, Redania and Temeria will respond strongly. The North will disintegrate, its unity gone. A dark scenario that is nevertheless avoidable, provided Saskia is successful and wins the Valley's independence. Even if she thwarts Henselt, there'll be no independence without agreement from Redania and Temeria. Temeria's expansionist plans melted away with Foltest's death. Redania's ruler is unpredictable, but even he'll have to respect a victory. I'm here to make this victory a fact. Okay, that's an interesting plan. Is what they say true? Did Saskia kill a dragon? Prince Stennis decorated her for it at the court in Vengerberg, so it appears to be true. If you want to know the details, talk to Biggerhorn. Apparently he witnessed it. Have you heard about a witcher's school? Apparently the viper's their sign. No. Why do you ask? The Kingslayer wears a medallion adorned with a viper. Pretentious and childish for my taste. He can't be very smart. No, oh, he's pretty smart. A sorceress like you ought to know bundles about the wild hunt. A sorceress's knowledge has nothing to do with superstitions. The hunt's not a superstition. True. The phenomenon seems to exist. I want to know everything there is to know about it. It's strictly atmospheric. It doesn't interest me. Just as whirlwinds, whirlpools, and snowfalls do not interest me. Why not? Those are fun, man. All right. Uh, At the, the council, the you mentioned artifacts were needed to undo the curse. Hmm. But I can't look for them now. I can. Yeah, do because that. you're you're having a massage. Nice. That's very important, I have my right? Reasons. Tell me something. Did you notice? Not all the ghosts were aggressive. Yes. Most just disappeared when they touched the aura of a living person. I think the curse corrupts the ghosts of the fallen and turns them into draugers. Is that the witch's professional name for wraiths? Draugers are demons of war. They arise at sites of exceptionally vicious, bloody battles. Their bloodlust and hatred in condensed form. Can you kill them by conventional means? A silver sword is enough for a Draugr, but as long as the curse remains active, new ones will arise. The soldier's ghosts are the key. If I could turn the tide of the battle... For that, you'll need symbols of war belonging to those who fell in battle. Hatred, death, courage, and faith. All artifacts must be magically active and connected to the fallen, or they won't lure the ghosts. Right. I'll look around. Finding two will be enough. Get the symbols of hatred and death and leave the rest to me. I'd prefer courage and faith. Don't ha -ha. I'll see what I can do. Cecil seems to know a lot about the area. What happened here three years ago? Henselt attacked Edern, but met his match. Nobody won that war. Sabrina Glefesig got into a conflict with the commander-in-chief of the Kedweni forces, and this led to both armies being routed. Fireballs turned the battlefield into a flaming tomb. Henselt accused Sabrina of using a forbidden weapon. And Sabrina cursed Henselt. I think so. I suspect the curse got out of hand because of the circumstances. Circumstances? The stars weren't right, wrong phase of the moon. There's always an excuse for simple bungling. She placed the curse while burning at the stake. Her hands and feet nailed to a wagon wheel. I'd say she did a good job considering. Yeah, that sounds as painful. Know anything about blood curses? Do you? We're dealing with a fourth level curse, also known as the Curse of the Archmistress. Well, well. I'm impressed. Thing is, until now I thought it was only a myth, that such a curse couldn't be cast. You thought wrong. There are six confirmed cases of this curse being inflicted. What about confirmed cases of it being lifted? One. Achieved by a team of sorcerers led by Archmistress Francesca Finderbear. 
hence the curse's other name. Sabrina Gleverzig was on the team. Small world. That's not all. The curse investigated by Francesca and Sabrina was designed to end the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Kovir. They were cursed by Scarlet Rodelega, a complete madman, but very talented. An eclipse and wraiths also accompanied his curse. So Sabrina's curse is just a knockoff Rodelega. Exactly. Can Francesca's experience help us? Certainly. I know the symbols and the workings of the curse thanks to her. Care to explain? I'm the one risking my neck. You'll have to relive the battle and change its course at the right moment. I don't know exactly what will happen. Nobody does. Huh. I'll look for those artifacts. What happened here three years? Oh Hensel wait, I already asked that. No, five. And Sabrina. I think. Sir. She. Okay. I'm good for now. I'll let you know when I learn something. All right. So I have to go talk to Cecil again. He seems to be the key person in this town right now, and uh, gotta get those symbols for her.